Hello guys, good evening, welcome. welcome my teacher, again. good evening. Hello. How were your vacations, my friends? Tell me, what did you do? Well, not so much. <laughs> not, not much. 
Okay, did you have occasions? Did, did you have rest, Diego? Yes. Yes. How many um, days? Four days. Well, four days is, is better than than two. Than nothing. Yeah, than nothing. <laughs> well, that that's right. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, did you go to any anywhere? To, to the beach? Yes, to the uh, mountain? I got to the beach with my family. And just was it just was it crowded? Mm, not so much. Okay, well, it sounds like like, like very relaxing, like very chill. Good. Yes. Okay, good for you. Okay, let's listen A to chill out in the yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay, did you did you went there and I well I can imagine that you had like fish, some fish or some mariscada, some. Or some cocktail, right? A fried, uh, oh, a, a shrimp, big fried fish. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, that's some, of no. course, a couple of beers, right? <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? you yeah, deserve it. Yeah, you are a hardworking employee, so you, you, you deserve it. Why not? Yeah, 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 that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, good for you, Diego. And Thank you. you well, in my case, yes, I spent. Uh, mainly, well, all my my yes, my vacations are at home, but I went to the beach on on Saturday. Yes, I had like some fun with my family, of course, but I also spent time with with my friends. Yeah, with my neighbors that uh, they are also my friends. So yes, I, I consider that I was like very chill, very okay. Tranquil. That sounds good. Yeah. Yes, I enjoyed it. Okay, so go well. Nice. Yeah, at least we have some vacation. Okay, so let's listen to Andrea. Did you have some vacation, Andreita? I don't have vacation. You don't have vacation, but maybe in the future, right? Uh, solo, ¿cómo es? Only one day Once, and a half. One day and a half. And a half. Uh -huh. Okay. But you have your vacations at the end of the year or during the year? Maybe. During the year. No. Yeah, during the year. Yeah. Uh -huh. like how many days? Like one week, 15 days? 15 days. Okay, well, that, that's good. Well, I think that that is one advantage because if you have uh, your vacations on October, for example, uh, the places are, are not crowded and... Uh, there's a possibility that the, 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 the food is cheaper, right? Mm -hmm. Because it is not like very common. Yeah, so that happens. Yes. Okay, so do you have a, spe a specific month when you have your vacations? Or I not? Well, in January. In January, okay. In January, well, good to continue celebrating New Year's Eve. Okay, good. So, uh, in that day, what did you do? Spend time at home, watching movies, or what? De todo un poco, teacher. Uh, well. Yes. Okay. I watch movies, uh, spend time with my family. Well, yeah. Well, I think you had like a great time. Good, Andreita. Good for you. And Claudia, let's listen to Claudia. What about you? Yeah, Claudita, tell me, what did you do? I'm fine. Okay, you, you're fine, but uh, did you have vacations or similar to similar to Andrea? You didn't have no vacations. Sí, same. Igual casa. Okay, good. How many days? Two days, three days? Four. Four days. Four days. Well, similar to Diego. Are you colleagues? Diego, are you partners? Diego and Claudia Diaz? No. No, not at all. Okay. No. Okay, no. forget about it. Okay, good. No, we are not. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you, Claudia. Carmen, you look different. You look younger. Mm -hmm. I think. It's Hi. Hi, I think it, it, it was or it is the, the sun, right? Yeah. 
Did, did you go to the beach? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? I have a good job all week. Really? Wow. Congratulations. Um, uh, no, go to uh, my town and huh? to the beach. Really? Where Where is your, your, your town? I mean, Aguachapan. Ah, yes, Aguachapan. What is, what, can you mention any, any, any beach in there? Any, well, any of the beaches that Aguachapan has? Eh, la playa no de Aguachapan. No, but near, pero si hay, cerca, si hay cerca. Playas. Si hay playas en Aguachapan, pero no, no fui a playa Aguachapan. Fui oh, aquí a La Libertad. Okay, well, okay, good. Uh, one day, two days. Uh, four day to the wow. Aguachapan and three day uh, to a the beach. Beach. A beach. Wow. I think those are really vacations for real. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. I'm glad for you. I'm really happy for you. So that's why you look like very smiley. You're very <laughs> peace and love. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you, Carmen. What about Mercy? Hello, Mercy. Good evening. Welcome Hello, back. teacher. Good night. How are you? I'm uh, very good. Very good. Did you have vacations? Yes, vacations. No vacations. I don't have vacations. Uh, well, you don't have vacations. And no. uh, this last uh, week, you didn't have. Okay. Um. So you have vacations during the year, right? Durante el año le dan vacaciones. Yeah? Digamos que no. Not really. Okay. Yeah. Um, but we went to visit um, my mother. So to your grandparents. Okay. Yeah. That's and fine. Sunday. Uh, okay. And uh, where do your grandparents live? La Libertad. Ah, La Libertad. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Yes. I think it, it, it is hot in there, right? Un poquito de calor. Algo mm. caliente. Yes. A little bit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> good. Thank you. What about we have Iron Maiden Pan? Marlon, hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello. Okay, how are you doing? Good. Fine. I'm fine. Relax. Did you have vacations? Uh, yes. Tell yes, me I yes, have please. Tell me yes. Okay. How many days? All, all the week. Two. All the week. Yeah, well. Yes. That's uh, good. Uh, did you visit uh, any specific or any special place with your family or with your friends? Uh, uh, really, I stayed at, at home. Right, stay at home. Uh, I only visited to my mother, and uh, I spent I spent out with my friends some days, <laughs> and uh, with my family we go to the to the park. Okay. But that 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 was all. Th that was enough. Even was suficient. Yeah. Right. Because yes. we need to be like disconnected from our, our work, yes. from our paperwork or some, yes, work obligations. Yeah. So that, that's good. Well, you, you have fun with your friends and family. Yes, I have fun. Okay. Good for you. Thank you. Claudita, tell me. You are so mysterious. Tonight, there's muy misterioso on her. Mm, I can hear you. Claudia, Claudita, speak, say hello. Hello there. Nope. Nope, sorry. Okay, we're going to try again later. Let's listen to Carla. Hello, Carla. No vacation, right, Carla? No. No, I'm sorry. I'm... Yes, uh, you said the last time that you don't have vacations. So, but uh, just spend time at home, I, uh, I guess. On Saturday in Sabado? Mm, Sunday? No. Yeah. Not really. No. Did you work? Traba ¿Trabajaste? Did you work? Sí, solo viernes descansamos. Okay, on Friday. Yes, I think, um, on, well, Fridays are like kind of crowded. Well, different from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday. Most of the places were very crowded. So, so you spend time yeah. at home. Te quedas en casa. At home. I see. Yes, that's good. You, you, you can sleep, take a, like a long nap, una siesta larguísima, to, to wear pajamas, to start in pijamas, yes. Right, Andre? Solo comer Watch Netflix, eat, yeah, a lot of snacks, chucherías, okay, good. Okay, 
I'm glad for you at least one day, al menos un día. Kevin, thank you, Carla. Kevin, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you tonight? I'm fine. Okay, that's fine. Hey, did you have vacations? Yes, tell me yes. I don't have vacations. Oh, no. okay, I'm, I'm so sorry for you. So you didn't have vacations, but uh, you spend time at home on Saturday and Sunday, the weekend? Yeah. Friday in the morning. In the morning, okay. So you, you worked, trabajaste, you worked on uh, Saturday? No. No, el viernes en la mañana es mi descanso. Ah, mm -hmm. so Friday, okay. So, and what did you do? At home, staying at home, te quedaste en casa? Sí, Or, yeah. Work? Okay, okay, that's fine. Well, I think sometimes we, as I mentioned before, we really need to uh, be like disconnected from reality or the common routines that we have in order to have like kind of peace or kind of, yeah, like, like specific period or maybe short period of time at home, alone. Yeah, so that, that's good to spend time at home alone or with family. Okay, my friends, so we're going to start, uh, we're going to uh, study how to use how many and how much. This is a really uh, important uh, topic because uh, there's something, well, those are phrases that we use them a lot uh, in common English. So how to use how many and how much. ¿Qué significa cuánto? How many significa cuánto y how much también significa cuánto. But how many we use for countable nouns. Lo utilizamos para eh, sustantivos contables que ya lo vamos a... We're going to, to sad them. We're going to list them. Ya vamos a, a, a hacer una lista. And how much is for uncountable nouns. Son eh, sustantivos que no se cuentan. We're going to eh, study them. Hello, Andre, are you dancing or what? Yes. No, everything okay? No problem? Okay. Es, que, es que me estaba acomodando nada más. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. It is important as I had, well, as I have mentioned before, it is important for you to, to be comfortable. Deben de estar cómodos. If you have like water, maybe you can have water near, uh, next to you or a cup of coffee. Yeah, it is necessary. Okay, good. We start so, but uh, before we go into the class, we're going to mention the characteristics of an ideal bus because the last class, or I don't know, yeah, the last class we studied like characteristics of an ideal employee, like in the case of, well, or in your case, uh, that, like the colleagues, the partners, como los compañeros, verdad? Ya vimos eso. How could uh, an ideal employee be? But in this case, we're going to talk about bus. Vamos a hablar acerca del jefe. And it is important, not only because uh, bosses are part of our daily routine life, but also because in some cases, maybe you can become a boss. Ustedes pueden llegar a ser jefe, or maybe you can be a coordinator, or you can be in charge of a group or a team. So it is important to be clear and to have like, uh, like a profile, como tener como un perfil, okay? So before we start, and I need you to be clear about the characteristic of an ideal boss, okay? So uh, let's listen, maybe some of you, but before that, we're going, well, I'm going to check the attendance list, okay? So, okay. Okay, so before we start here, let's listen to Ana Mercedes Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. I'm here. Good to hear that. Carmen. Hello, teacher. Hello. Claudia Diaz. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Claudia Carolina Ventura. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Christian Castellanos. Okay, note. Uh, Christian Bogran. Yes. Ah, yes, yes, Christian. You are there. Hello. Okay. Uh, good to have you again. Uh, Christian Bogran, no. Dianita, and I think Diana is absent. Okay. Um, Diego, hello, my friend. President, teacher. Good. 
Thank you. Dora. No, Dora is no here. I think, well, maybe she's on vacation. Edgar Chacon. No. Helen Barraza. Helen creo que tiene problemas para entrar, teacher. Really? Sé que I... no sabe por qué, pero no puede entrar. Really? Well, she didn't. Well, she hasn't texted me. So maybe we're going to be like checking the inbox. Okay, um, Jose Miguel, no. Carla Patricia Funes. Hi, hello. Hello there. Present. Good. Kelvin, no, Kelvin, no, not here. Kevin Gutierrez. Yeah, Thank you. Um, Leslie, not here. I don't know why Leslie didn't, but she was absent. Yes, yes. Uh, Marlon, hello, my friend. Present. Thank you. Susie is not here because she's really sick. She has like sore throat. Tiene dolor de garganta. Y solo hay de dos, two options. Maybe she was saying true. Si estuvo diciendo la verdad o she's a liar. Un tema mentiroso y me fingió, pero no creo. I think she's, she's really sick. And Veronica Sorto, no, Vero is not here. Okay, so we're going to start uh, by mentioning uh, how could an ideal boss be? ¿Cómo podría ser un jefe ideal o un buen jefe? So we're going to listen to some of you. Maybe we can start with Claudia Diaz. Okay, Claudia, do you have any, do you have one uh, characteristic or two? Mm. Not yet, All right, well, you need time. Okay, I'm going to give you time. So let's go with Carmen. Okay, Carmen. Okay, the characteristic of a good boss are innovative, guiding with the ability to the listen, accessible and adaptable. Wow, good, yes, accessible and adaptable, yes. Um, he or she should innovate or be updating him or herself, of course. Yes, I agree with you. So let's listen to Mercedes, okay, merci. Tell us. The uh, characteristics of an ideal boss are leader, onyx, delegate, empathy. Okay, yes, of course, empathic, 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 yes. Or, empathic. Mm -hmm. Yes, empathic, okay. yes, of course. I think that's uh, very important. Uh, uh, that, that's something that it is good for an ideal, ideal boss, of course it is. Yes, uh, let's listen to Andreita. Andrea, cuénteme, desahogarte, mujer. Sí, es mi momento. Okay, yeah, your moment. <laughs> Time and to I, shine. Mm -hmm. Okay, an ideal boss should be a good leader, must be in party, must work as team, should not have pref preferen ¿cómo es? preference, 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 should not have preference, must have a way of saying things and finally must have ethics okay yeah ethics yes finally yes finally and i uh, well uh, just one word andrea should should, should. yeah should. Mm -hmm. should yes i consider that a good boss should be more than a boss should be a leader right that, that's mm -hmm. different. A boss is always demanding in saying uh, what he or she wants, mm -hmm. okay, ordering. But the leader, he or she acts. In, she, and sometimes, no, not all the time, well, but sometimes he or she does it. He, he or she shows or teaches how to do it. Enseña como hacerlo. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Good for you. What about if we we'll listen to Kevin? You have an idea? about yes. an ideal boss yes tell me uh could be i think that empathy is very important yeah uh, of course no sé cómo se dice humildad también yeah. 
you, you can say humble. Uh, okay. Uh, do you have any other? Mm, no. Okay. Well, I think that, that, that those are like important characteristics. And uh, Claudia Diaz, are you ready now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. An ideal boss is the proactive, mm -hmm. responsible, honest, the good character, initiative. With initiative. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And ideal. Okay. Remember, Claudia. Ideal. Yes, I think. I uh, ideal. Ideal. Yes. Uh, you mentioned a lot of important characteristics, and then we listen to Carla. Okay, Carla, tell me. Thank you, Claudia. Um, an ideal boss, and uh, she cheerful, understand, understand, mm -hmm. understanding. Mm -hmm. Yes, respectful. Respectful. Perfect. Respectful, a good leader, and um, accessible. Accessible, yes. Accessible. Yes. yes, okay. Respectful, that is something that called my attention. Uh, it is a good a good one because in some cases that the the bosses are not uh, are not polite when they demand uh, well some things. Okay. Thank you. Let's listen to um, Christian. Okay, my friend. Uh, sería organized, organized, organized intelligent, irresponsible, and yes. responsible. And responsible, yes. Because all the, the employees should be responsible, but the boss should be more responsible, of course. Okay, uh, what about Claudita, tell me. Hmm. And the characteristic of the ideal boss, the ideal. leadership, responsible, and empathy. And empathic, yes. Empire. Okay, yeah, an idea boss. Of course, it is. Okay, Mercy, you, you already told me, right? German history. Yes, I think, yes. Okay. We go with Marlon. Okay, Marlon. Uh, I think an ideal boss has to be creative. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I agree with my my partners. He has to be a leader, and I know that. Uh, excuse me. I think that he has to know. Uh, all the process and all the environment uh, of the area that is in his church. Is in his church. church. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that that's all. You, you, you mentioned, uh, or yes, you said different things that, that I consider like uh, very uh, like <clears throat> fundamental. There are a lot of bosses that they don't have like a clear idea about what they are doing or how the work is done, especially when uh, they go to the area for the first time or maybe when they don't have experience, that happens. When they have like white neck, yeah, that happens. Uh, yeah, of course, in different enterprises. So yeah, what well, that happens is you notice we are like, like as employees, we notice when the bosses they don't know like a lot or they don't have the enough knowledge, not ten, sufficient conocimiento, yes, and how to do not only the paperwork but also all the things, right? So they are like very lost, como están perdidos. I think we all have had that experience. Creo que todos hemos visto eso, right? Yes. Of course, yes, of course. Uh, we have also Diego, okay, my friend. Uh, what do you, well, how do you consider an ideal boss? Okay, teacher, thank you. I think that an ideal boss should be integral 
uh, because it, it, it should be a, a person that have to be all the all the stuff that everybody mentioned it um, after me or before me excuse me mm -hmm. uh, i think that uh, a boss should be fair efficient gentle smart can send in in a leader is very important because it's not the same a boss is just a shape that is demanding to you something and a leader is there to guide to guide everybody of course and yeah that's the reason why i think that uh, an idea boss should be fair too because everybody everyone uh, have to have to i don't know i don't know how to say they will the tener apoyo of course mm -hmm. Of course, support. It is. yes, yeah. you, you said fair, and that is something that not fair. all people have, yes, debe ser justo, yeah, a person should be yeah. fair and no preferences and to be like very objective, of course, even because our, the bosses normally evaluate, they evaluate uh, the employees or their team, of course. And if the team is not, or the employees are not doing like a very good job, um, a good percentage is because the boss is not doing a good job, of course. So that's it. Thank exactly. You. Thank you, Diego. This is what I meant, teacher. Of course, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, leader, some of you mentioned that word, and I really like that one. But uh, commonly we have bosses, but not leaders. And Helen, hello. Helen, good evening. Hello. How are you? You were on vacations. No, no. 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 But did you have vacations? No, no vacations. Solo el fin de semana, weekend. Did you go out? Saliste? Sí. Yes. yes. Where? To the park, to the beach, to the mountain, the, to the river. Um, or to a town of um, Pueblito? River. Ah, to, okay, yes. I love rivers. Yes, of course it is. Okay. Al campo. Ah, to the countryside. Yes, of course. To, ha to have some fresh air. Aire fresco, yes? Fresh yes. air. Yes, of course. That That is really uh, helpful. Okay, and Helen, do you have any characteristic of an ideal boss? Um, ideal boss? Empathic. An ideal boss mm -hmm. should be empathic, of course. Um, leader. Leader. Uh, proactive. Mm -hmm. Dynamic. Proactive. Dynamic, yes. Not boring, like like energetic, of course. Yes. <laughs> okay. Solamente. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. And, and nowadays, it is very common that there are some coaching training, right? in which um, uh, it is like uh, like a course in which you can learn how to encourage. Uh, encourage significa motivar. And that is something that uh, most uh, bosses should do, encourage the, the employees or their team to achieve, para alcanzar, to achieve uh, the goals that they have like uh, proposed, yes, and, or the challenges or los, or los retos, the challenges that sometimes uh, our enterprises uh, ask for us. So uh, I don't know how many of you have been bosses or how many of you are bosses? Cuantos han sido jefes? I think Carla, right, Carla? Or are, uh, have you been in charge, no estado a cargo? No, 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 not by now. Okay, no. maybe Helen. Yes. No. Okay, good to know. What about Marlon or Diego? Have you, have you, had that experience? Not yet. Or coordinator. No, but I, I, I uh, yes. was supervisor. Okay. Yes. A marketing well, supervisor. Supervisor is like a kind of mm -hmm, because you are in charge of an area or a team. So, yeah. Good. Uh, Marlon, 
you as yeah, well. Sometimes I have to supervise uh, some process and uh, in, in, in my job okay. uh, because uh, we are we are uh, in charge of, of a project mm -hmm. and we have to check the quality mm -hmm. uh, and different steps, right? Different yeah, areas. Como es la fabricación sin ¿Cómo es? Yes, el, 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 manufacturing. Yeah, manuf since manufacturing, and, and so and all the processes. And go to install uh, to the to the place or it is very complete. Place, yes, it's very complete. What you do, and sometimes uh, the people, the, the 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 partners that have to install uh, the product, uh, they are committing mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And we have to check that and we have to, to tenemos que pedirle que corrijan. Like quality control as well, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Wow, so, yeah. So there are different areas. Okay, experience. so that's part of, yeah. But that's good. But before we, uh, before getting a boss or becoming a boss, we need experience like as employee, right? Like yes. in, in those previous areas, of course it is. Okay, let's listen now to Claudita. Have you been boss or have you been in charge? Ha estado a cargo porque a veces estamos a cargo de equipos, okay? Or leader of a team. Mm -hmm. No. No yet, but maybe in the future. Andreita, Kevin? No, teacher. No, yeah, maybe in the future. Okay. Uh, Claudia, no yet? No, teacher. No yet. Okay. What about Carmen? Yes. Yes, teacher. But you are a very good boss or a bad boss? <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope so. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I consider that you are a good boss. <laughs> yes, uh, remember that we will... Uh, Christian, what about you? Have you had that experience, that opportunity to be leader of a team or, or a boss? Uh, no. No yet. Okay, well, that happens. But, uh, well... I think uh, there are some opportunities and even I have been a boss. I have been, a, a, well, I consider that I, well, I mainly like to be like a leader. It is not easy to be in charge of people. It, it is not easy to fire people. No es fácil despedir a las personas. That, that's really uh, complicated, right? But that's part of the process, okay? So thank you for all your opinions. And I think that it is important to talk about these topics. So now we're going to study many and much. Those words mean mucho, significan mucho, okay? But many, it is for uh, countable nouns. Es para con, uh, sustantivos contables, okay? And much is for uncountable nouns, sustantivos no contables. And I mean countable because you can say one, two, three, because there are some, yeah, some different forms to, to have a quantity. Tenemos formas para tener ciertas cantidades. Por ejemplo, el agua, decimos a bottle of water, decimos una botella de agua. No decimos un agua, dos aguas, okay. Because you can count the rain. No podemos contar la lluvia. Rain, we can count sugar. No podemos contar los, el azúcar. You can count sugar daddies and sugar mummies, but you can count sugar as ingredients. Como el ingrediente no lo pueden contar. Salt, of course, no. Or pollution. Mainly the people who live in, in downtown, in the center of a city, they have more pollution than in comparison to the people uh, who live in the countryside. Smoke, okay, of course, and noise. Noise is that... Uh, sound that it is disgusting, especially mm, uh, the, the noise produced by the, the trucks, the buses, okay? Or the people who don't like uh, reggaeton, they consider <laughs> reggaeton like noise, but well, in any case, we have many and much, okay? Remember that. So we have more information in here, but it is good to, to be clear that books, you can count one book, two books, or cars, you can say, uh, 15 cars or bikes, dogs, yes, of course, and that happens. Así que recuerden que 
Los, los contables son los que pueden decir 1, 2, 3 y los, eh, los que no son contables son los pues, que realmente tenemos que decir te, necesitamos una medida, por ejemplo, una libra de azúcar, ¿ok? A pound, ¿ok? O como decir una, una cucharada, spoon of sugar, ¿ok? Pero no se puede contar así, así digamos, literalmente. So, here, here we have much and many, ¿ok? So, I will need the, the help of Carmen, please. Much and many. Please, Carmen. Much are mainly... Mm -hmm. And many are mainly used in negative sentences and questions and questions. Sigo. Yeah, please. They are not common in affirmative sentences. Two style possible. Mm -hmm. Dove, uh, so, we can use it in negative and questions, but it is possible. Of course, we can use it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí, podemos decir, there, there is too much noise, hay mucho ruido. Of course, we can use it, but it is common. Mm -hmm. So negative, much please, is, Carmen. Mm -hmm. Much, much is, is user with a uncountable, with uncountable nouns. Mm -hmm. Many, many, many is user with a plural countable nouns. Yes, used, used, yeah, used. Thank you, Carmencita. Many is used for plural. Okay, so we have much and many. Okay, um, we have, uh, Carla, you start. Uncountable nouns. I don't have, and then we go with Helen. I don't, I don't have. Much. Much time. No tengo mucho tiempo. Thank you. Thank you. Helen, and then Christian. He doesn't, Helen. He doesn't need much money. Much, yeah, much. He doesn't need much money. For example, Diego, Marlon, Karen, they, they don't need much money, right? Okay, so we have with Christian, right? Does it? Does it use much uh, electric electricity? Yes, electricity. For example, maybe you can want to buy a fridge, refrigerator. So that happens that there are some fridge that they need more electricity. So we have many uh, plural countable nouns. So here we have, we'll start with Claudia and then Claudita. Claudia, there aren't. There aren't many chairs, chairs, chairs in the room. Thank you, Claudia and then Andrea. I. I don't know how many friends. Yes, but I think you have a lot of friends. Okay, so much. Um, yeah, lots. Yeah, many, many. Mm -hmm. Special friends. Okay, so Andreita, do you think? Do you think many people will will go? Do you think many people will go? Okay, so I will need the help of Diego. Please, Diego, could you help, help me, please, uh, with affirmative sentences? Okay, with affirmative sentences, we prefer a lot of, instead of much, many, a lot of. Lots of are not common in negative sentences or questions. A lot of can be used with countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Thanks. A lot of equal lots of. Thanks so much, Diego. Esto anotenlo. A yeah. lot of. This is quite important. A lot of es la vieja confiable. También significa mucho. Y se utiliza, we can use for countable and uncountable. O sea que si ustedes no eh, se están como medio bloqueados, ¿qué digo? Much or many, digan a lot of. ¿Ok? Pero más que todo para la... Eh, when we use affirmative sentences. ¿Ok? Pero recuerden, much es para lo que no se cuentan. Many. Por ejemplo, me dijo Claudia, I have much friends. Pero le dije, I have many friends. Porque tú puedes decir one friend, two friends, okay, un amigo, dos amigos, no sé cuántos amigos, amiguitos tienes, ok, so that happens, so many, eh, ¿qué pasó Andreita? Algo sabes, ok, a lot of significa muchos y también podemos decir lots of, uh -huh. esto, anoten esta, esta frase, es importante, so we have a lot of, ok, so eh, we will need the help of Mercy, y tenemos uncountable nouns, I need Mercy, I and need then a lot of, of coffee. Mm -hmm. I need, continue. I need lots. I need a lot of coffee. Okay, thank you. Kill, uh, uh, Kevin, please. There is. Okay, there is a lot of traffic today. 
Thanks a lot. Ok, now we go with a lot of. Seguimos. Si se dan cuenta, aquí nos son no contables, estos son, son contables. Ok. Eh, we go now with eh, Marlon, please. Plural countable nouns. She has. Me lees todo eso, please. She has. She has a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. uh, that's equals she had lots of friends. Yes. The, there are a lot. There are a lot of cars on the streets. Okay, thanks. So can you see that a lot of es como pues la vieja confiable lo utilizamos. Okay? But for affirmative, porque en lugar de decir there is a lot of traffic today, podemos decir there is too much traffic. También lo podemos decir there is too much traffic. Okay? So that's it. Okay, so we continue because we're going to study here. Eh, well, that again. Time expressions for regular activities. Okay, every day, week, month, year. There are some things, some activities that you do every week, every day. For example, you take a shower. Well, I hope you take a shower every day. So every week, something that you do every week, every month. For example, you can pay bills. Pueden pagar recibos o cuentas every month. Or every year, maybe you can go to the beach every year. You can visit your mother-in-law. Okay, so so grita la pueden visitar. Or well, I hope you can visit uh, her like every month. Yeah, that is good. Daily, weekly, monthly. Okay, so um, tell me what are the things that maybe you can do every day, every week, every month, or every year. Think about it. Piensen acerca pues eh, de esas actividades que ustedes pueden hacer una vez al, eh, cada día, una vez a la semana, una vez al mes o eh, pues una vez al año. Okay? Remember the routines and uh, remember uh, the hobbies or the pastimes. So maybe we can have the participation of Andrea. So Andrea, can you uh, tell me something that you do daily or weekly or monthly? Mm -hmm. Una de cada una. No, just mention one. Pick one. Okay. Every day I breakfast. I have breakfast. Yes. I have breakfast. I hope you have breakfast. Espero que sí desayuné, Andrea. That's important. Sí. Maybe we are in a rush. La carrera and we, we don't take care about it. Okay. What about Christian? Something that you do every week, every month, every year. Every week, mm -hmm. I go to the gym. Oh, wow, that's good. I would like to, me gustaría, but mm, I'm too lazy, but good for you. And what about Marlon? And then Karen. Uh, I... Well, I, every... Uh, once once a week i spend out with my friends wow yeah once a week that's good for you and does your your wife get angry with that no she's, no, no she's no. relaxed she's relaxed very good for you she's, she's a, a, a good wife wow well <laughs> that's that's well that's wonderful Okay, that's good. I want to get married. So. Good. I'm uh, not married. No, no. Oh, okay. That's your advice. Es tu consejo. Not married. <laughs> Together, but not married. Okay, good. Good. Uh, Diego, what about you? And then Carmen. Okay. And I feed my dog every day. And I, I shower her every week. Ah, well. Every week, yeah. Every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And every week shower her. Good one. Every week. Uh, Carmen, then Mercy. I brush my teeth every day. Hmm. Excellent. Yes, I think. Well, we should do it like three times or four times. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Mercy, and then Kevin. Uh, I run twice a week in the stadium. Hmm. Good. Yes. Twice a week. Yeah, that's nice. You are in good shape. Stay in forma. Good for you. ladrón, you can run. Okay, so Kevin and then Claudia. Every day I go to my work. Of course, my friend. I'm sorry, but we have to. 
Yes. Uh, Claudia, and then uh, we go with Helen. Um, I drink three coffee every day. Three cups of coffee. Tres tazas de café. Three cups yes. of coffee. Wow. Well, I think I drink two. One or two, but <laughs> coffee, it's necessary for us. Yes. Yes, yes it's necessary. No, Carmen, no coffee. Come on, what happened <laughs> to you? Yeah. A veces, solo a no. veces. Oh, in the morning I need coffee. You know, so I like, <laughs> a, like a zombie. Okay. <laughs> Good. And what about Helen? Are you there? And Claudita. Um, every day I walk. You walk, caminas. Yes. You walk, okay. Okay, good. And Claudita and then Carla. Weekly visit my mom. You visit your mom, okay. Weekly. Mm. Weekly. That's fine, yes. I like to hear that. Carla? I work every day. Okay. You work every day. So can you see, uh, thank you. Uh, you can see daily uh, activities are uh, routines. And we have also a uh, schedule event, scheduled, cuando, como tenemos la ED, eh, son eventos agendados. Schedule es agenda o agendar, pero scheduled ya, ya es un participio, ya, ya es un adjetivo. So scheduled events are like uh, the ones that we use in or we put in timetables. O sea, cuando utilizamos timetables es calendarizado. Timetable es como una calendarización. So that happens especially when you uh, need to do something at work and you have your due date, uh, when you have an anniversary. Yeah, a lot of things, okay? So timetables es calendarizado, so calendarizado, okay? Remember that timetable. Mm -hmm. And schedule events. Son eventos agendados. Okay, we're going to, to work with this uh, event. So here we're going to write five questions uh, uh, to a classmate about a regular day. Mm -hmm. So use the questions to interview a classmate about his her daily activities. Okay, so maybe you can ask, and what do you do at mm -hmm. what do you do at 12? What do you do at three in a common or a regular day? Como un día normal, okay? So think about uh, some activities uh, that you can do in, well, on a specific time, in una hora specific, okay? Maybe we cannot, uh, we're not going to use five questions, but at least three, at least three questions for each one. So you write the time, mm -hmm. what do you do during the day? So you can say at eight, I start working, at 12 or at noon, I have my, my lunch. Mm -hmm. At 3 p.m., I have my, my coffee, my, my snacks or something like that, okay? So I'm going to, to, to form pairs, okay? To work with that. So easy, cheesy. Just write at the time and the, the activity that uh, your partner does, okay? The time, la hora y la actividad. Is time and what does uh, he or she does? Easy. Okay, I'm going to form the, the, the pairs very quickly. Okay, let's do it. Hello, Mercy. 
Eh, ¿Puedes aceptar la, la invitación? Ok, that's fine. Ya tiene alguna. Teacher, ¿cuántas mm. actividades? Ajá, contame, contame. ¿Cuántas actividades? Tres. Solo tres. Tri. Relax. Ah, Relájense, ustedes paren de sufrir. Calm sí, down. Hombre. ¿Cómo se dice llegando? Arrive es llegar. Arrive. arrive at home, arrive at work, arrive. Ah, ok. Así sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hey, in. I attend providers. A las 8 uh, a.m. Ajá, solo que ahí quizás está un poco incompleto porque hey, in. I attend provider, pero o sea, es de las 8 en adelante. Según cómo vayan llegando de acuerdo en la, en la mañana. Atiendo los proveedores. Number two, 2 p.m. I check mm -hmm. daily sales. Uh -huh. A las doce y media. Come on, Andreita. Ay, teacher, I have... <laughs> Ay, teacher. It's Monday. Yes, I know, I know. It's difficult. Vaya pues. Vaya pues, ok. Tramposo. <laughs> no, mentira. No, no mentira. Dale con todo. I attend English class at 8 p.m. 5 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. mm, I still working at at 5 p.m. I work from from nine in the morning at at 6 p.m. Oh, okay. Maybe at five I I making some calls. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Ok, con Andreita vamos a comenzar, ya que tiene carita de malía. Ok, Andrea, tell me. Me vas a decir algo. De, you're going to tell me something that Carla does on a specific time. Ok. So, okay. For, you can say, for example, Carla arrives home or arrives at home at five o'clock. Ok. So, you start. And then, Carla. Ok. Eh... Teacher, yo lo había puesto así, at six o'clock, uh -huh. Carla's going to work. Uh -huh. Carla, ¿Sí? Carla, ok, Carla goes, goes to work. Goes, uh -huh. goes to work. Ok, that's, that's good. Uh, yeah, acceptable. Carla, and then we go with Ke Kevin. Eh, Andrea, uh, four. And she drink coffee. Okay, Andrea drinks coffee at four. Drink coffee. Mm -hmm. wow. At four. Okay, the good. That's good. Hey, Kevin, your time, and then we go with Carmen. Select one activity that Diego or Marlon does, mm -hmm, and mention the time at the end. Hey, I can hear you. Please turn the microphone on. Perdón, no sé. No problem. Hey, Two breaks in the day at 11 and at 4. Okay, that's good. Two breaks. But maybe they are not enough, right? We need more time. We all always need more time. Okay, good. Carmen and then Mercy. Helen uh, drinks, Helen does drinks coffee at 8 a.m. Okay, Helen drinks coffee at 8, mm -hmm. at 8 a.m. Okay, good. Merci, then Claudia. Mm -hmm. Perdón, teacher, es que no escuché. No problem. I'm going to give you time. Seleccionar una actividad. You have to select an activity. Mention the person, the name of the person, and the, the, the time, okay? So listen, uh, listen. We're going to listen to Claudia, and then you're going to participate, okay? Merci, ya vas a participar. Okay, Claudia, and then Marlon. El de Mercy, she does 8 a.m. attend providers. Providers, okay, okay. Provider. Okay. Mercy attends to providers at what time? ¿A qué, um, a qué hora? ¿A qué hora? What time? 8 a.m. 8 a.m., okay. And uh -huh. remember, Try to say the time at the end of the sentence. It is like uh, more common. Es más común que se diga la hora al final de la oración. Thank you, Claudia. Okay. Marlon, and then we go with Diego. And then Claudita. Okay. Uh, Kevin, um, he watches TV at 6 p.m. every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Uh, Diego... Okay, at work. Okay, good. Diego and Claudia. Claudita. Okay, Marlon. Marlon begins to work at 7 a.m. Well, early, temprano. Okay, Claudia, Claudita, uh -huh. and then Marcia. Okay, and, and Mercy. Okay, Christian goes to the gym 7 p.m. Goes. Mm -hmm. goes. Goes. Goes, goes, goes. Yes, Claudita goes. That's a rebelde. Thank you. Uh, Mercy. And after Mercy, we go with Carmen. Yes. Claudia arrives overtime report. 3 p.m. Okay. Arrives. Okay. Arrive. Good. Carmen and then Christian. Yo ya pasé. Carmencita, I'm sorry. Bueno de Helen. Es, es cierto, pero como te ves muy chill, muy al suave, entonces por eso que te pregunto. Okay, Christian, your turn, and then Helen. Helen, Cla Cla Claudia takes takes a shower uh, at five o'clock. At five, Claudia, pero mm -hmm. at five. Qué frío. Okay, it's cold. It's getting cold. Okay, Helen, you go. Uh, she does. I wake up five a.m. Okay, she wake uh, gets up gets up. Se levanta o se despierta, wakes up. Um, se despierta. Yeah, wakes up. Who? Pero quién? Porque dijiste she. Mm -hmm. Carmen. Hey. 
Ah, Carmen. Carmen wakes up. What time does Carmen wakes up? ¿A qué horas? Decir la verdad. Say the truth. <laughs> Así me dijo, las cinco de la mañana. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, Rick. Okay. Thank you. And now we go with an activity that I like the, a lot. The bucket list. The bucket list es eh, la, cuando normalmente decimos esto. Eh. Kick the bucket es cuando ya nos pateamos el balde, colgamos los tenis. Es un eufemismo que utilizamos para decir que... Mm, Alguien muere o morimos. Kick the bucket es como decir die, morir. So, eh, es, what are the top three? Tenemos diferentes top. Por ejemplo, top five es un top de, de cinco puntos. O, o in case of, uh, maybe you remember MTV on the 90s. At 90s, eh, they used to have top 10, el top 10 de, de, de canciones. Even eh, uh, the ABC eh, radio. Yeah, la radio a veces tenía la, la 100 mejores top 100 and we have like different tops okay so what are the top three things on your bucket list o sea lo que está uh, even there is a movie that is named the bucket list uh, starring with Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson I really I strongly re recommend that movie it's really interesting I really love it so um The things that you can do or you would like to do before you die. Antes de que ustedes se pelen, antes que ustedes se mueren. ¿Qué les gustaría hacer? Well, in my case, I, I like to do a lot of things. Legal, legal, and I legal. Okay, so um, we're going to start maybe with some of you. Maybe you can have three things or more things. So we're going to start, in this case, with Claudita que tiene cara de hacer algo ilegal. So, tell me the top three things. Okay. Uh, the one. No, uh, the, per, the first. The first. The first, first, the first, the first, is, first is travel to San Jose, Costa Rica. Mm, nice. Second, uh, buy my car. Okay. In, y tercero, ¿cómo se dice? And third. And third. third. Mm -hmm. Buy a millonario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ok. Buy o oh, you mean married. Casarte o what? No. Buy. Buy my car. Ah, buy your car. Ok. Yo. Yes. Eh, comprar un millonario. No quise casarte. Con... Okay. Why no. not? Everything no. is possible. Everything is possible in this life, Claudia. You have to believe. Okay, thank you, Claudita. Now we go with Carmen that I uh, think, it, well, I consider she's very clear about what uh, she wants. So, Carmen, tell me. Before I do, I want to visit the Holy Land, go to the Magic Mountain with my children, and go to the Cancun with my uh, husband. Wow, Cancun, it sounds like sexy. So, now, yeah, okay, good. Yes, before I die. Before I kick the bucket, before I passed away, yeah, different, different forms to say, okay, Cancun. Mm. Like the second honeymoon. Segunda luna de miel. Yes, yes. You deserve it. Se lo merecen. Okay, good. What about Marlon? I think Marlon has some interesting ideas. Uh, yeah, Marlon. Maybe, but uh, they, they are some common. Okay. Because, uh, One of, of the three things is to travel to the ancient Europe. Mm -hmm. the ancient Rome, yeah. the ancient Greece. Greece, yes. Perfect. Greece, Greece. Perfect. Uh, that's uh, uh, the principle of my wishes. Mm -hmm. And so I, I would like to, to uh, have my own enterprise. Being my own jobs, my own, my own, my own boss. Excuse me. But well, not with Herbalife, right? No. Mm -hmm. no. And, <laughs> mm, I, I, I don't know what can be the other. Okay, you are thinking about it. You're, you're thinking on. Uh -huh. Okay, you're yes. considering maybe getting married like, with another wife. 
Okay. No, no, traveling, <laughs> maybe we want to travel, that, that's fine. Or travel with your family to have like a that's, second that's honeymoon, the, the, like, the like Carmen. Yes. That's a principle of my wishes. Okay, of course. Mm -hmm. that, that, that sounds like wonderful. Thank you. Well, we go now with Mercy. Okay, Mercy. Mm -hmm. Three things, tres cosas. <laughs> Solo tres. Fears. Uh -huh, the first. Fears. To travel in a hot air balloon. Mm. No sé si sería correcto viajar yeah, uh, 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 en un uh, balón yeah. aerostático. Balloon, balloon. balloon. Mm -hmm. balloon. Yeah, well, really. Second. Mm. Sounds like very to... extreme. So an ext extremo. Mm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Second, go to the big event tomorrowland. Ah, tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. E and, three. and and three three and three or third travel with my mother and daughter daughter to Paris to Paris okay wow romantic maybe you can <laughs> meet a French tal vez conoces un francés eh why not it is possible <laughs> yes yes yes. Possible. <laughs> yes remember that Latin American people that they are like sexy for European los latinos los latinos somos Attractivos. We are attractive for people from different countries, of course. And what about um, Kevin? Are you ready with your three things? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, three things that I would like to do before life. Uh, the first thing is be a person who has market something positive humanity. Wow. How yeah. uh, the second thing is have a brand, some food product or something else. Mm. The free thing is travel through different countries of the world. Uh, do you have a, a specific country that you would like to visit? Because Marlon mentioned uh, Rome, Greece. I don't know, maybe you like Europe or Asia, or Africa, or what? Yes, eh, sería un país como el Medio Oriente, como es algo como que desconocido, sería ah, like a, a, a new, well, new environment, new country, yes. Yeah. Something yeah. totally, totally different. Sí, eh, incluso hasta la actitud de las personas. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, that, that, that's it. And it is like uh, so... So, wow, so, well, it has a, like a good or a great impact in your life when you have like contact with a different culture. Yes, that is one of the best things that maybe we can have in life. Okay, thank you. And, and the last be because uh, we have, uh, well, we go with Helen. Okay, Helen. And then we continue because we have more activities. Okay, Helen, three things. Digamos que te morir dentro de poco. No, we hope not, but in case, in case. Um, win the lottery. No, no okay. Money. Well, I think everybody <laughs> will like to. Mm -hmm. And travel to New York, my daddy. Mm -hmm. And travel by to seven. Okay, by ship. Yes. Well, that sounds like a very, with, with your family alone, with your friends. And my family. With your family. Mm -hmm. Okay, with your family. Okay, Helen. Thank you. We have a worksheet. In this worksheet, we're going to start with uh, using many or much, depending or the noun, dependiendo del sustantivo. If you consider it is countable, you are going to use many. If you consider it is uncountable, si es, eh, si es no contable, we're going to use much, okay? So uh, select one and say much and the word that you can see here or many. So we're going to start with Diego and then we we'll go with Claudia. Okay, Diego. Okay, uh, much smoke. Okay, much smoke. Smoke on the water, like deep purple. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Claudia. And then, uh, Mercy. Y, quiero ver. 
quiero ver. Insects mm -hmm. de many. Ok, good one. Uh, Mercy and then Helen. Flowers many. Mm, flowers many or many flowers? Many flowers. Flowers, yes. Flowers. Many, many flowers. Ok, we go with who? Helen, right? Helen and then Kevin. Many books. Ok, many books. Ok, thank you. Kevin, then Carla. Much attention. Good, much attention. Lo que necesitamos. Ok, good. Thank you, uh, Carla. And then we go with Christian. Many men. Many men. Yes. Good. Okay, uh, Christian. And then Andrea. Uh, sería many. No, much water. Much water. Yes. Uh, Andrea. And then we go with. Claudita. Uh, much teeth. Mm, much teeth. I know many teeth. Okay, I know. I know. I know. Si se puede contar. Yes, pues si como tienen caries. Y ahí van a dormir. Uh -huh. okay. Many teeth. <laughs> many teeth, okay. And what about Claudita, right? Mira la que se tocó la más yes. bonita. Many plastic. Mm. Uh, can you say one plastic? Puede decir un plástico, dos plásticos. Oh, much. Much. Ah, no está siguiendo tu corazón. No, no sigue. You don't follow your heart. Okay, now here we have some sentences. And they are like uh, a little bit complicated. Okay. So, cuando vean esto, hasn't got, es como que eh, aquí utilizamos esto. Es una frase. You've got, es como tú tienes. Por ejemplo, si le digo a, a Diego, you've got a cup. Uh -huh. eh, si le digo a Kevin, you've got a, you've got a pencil. Okay. Si le digo a Claudita, you've got a, a daughter. Entonces tú tienes. Okay. En este caso, es, hasn't got, es como que no tiene. ¿Verdad? Mary no tiene. Es como doesn't have. Es un inglés un tanto, es informal. Okay. So, hasn't, y se utiliza hasn't. Porque es la tercera persona. Y aquí es la contracción. Eh, sorry. Esa era la contracción del had. Ok. So, este es no tiene. Igual es no tiene. Ok. That's uh, the only one. That maybe you can have like uh, some difficulties. So, um, we go. Now we start with Carmen. Ok, Carmen. Pick one. One number. Eight. Sorry. Uh, one number. One. Ok, one. Uh, no, there, there is, there isn't mm -hmm. much milk in the water. Yes, in the bottle, bottle. Okay, good one. Thank you. Now we go with Mercy and then Marlon. Mm, do you need time, Mercy? Okay, Mercy, I'm going to give you time. Marlo, your turn. Uh, is there uh, much rice in the jar, number seven? Yes. Is there much rice in the jar? Yes. Good one. Even uh, there is a... Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, That's sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> es que, I'm ready. Es que no me agarraba el mouse y yo le quería dar aquí no me agarraba. Tu corazón está... <laughs> Está raro. Ok, then we go with uh, Diego. Ok, Mercy, go. Number 10. Then. Are there many children in the garden? Ok, that, that's 11. Ok. Ay, perdón. Ok, ok, 11. Go, go with 11. Mm -hmm. Are there. Ok. Are there many children in the garden? Yes, of course. Okay, Diego, and then we go with uh, Carmen. Creo que no ha pasado. Uh, 
Ah, yes, 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 yes. Cla Claudio. <laughs> okay, I choose number 10. Go ahead. There isn't much sugar in my tea. Yes, of course it is. Thank you. Okay, Claudia, and then we go with uh, Christian. Number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. Are there many, many books in the library? Library, yes. Library. Good one. Okay, Christian, and then we go with Helen. Number 12. Mm -hmm. There isn't much uh, salt in the soap. In the soup. Mm -hmm. soup. Porque se dicen soap, es, se lo voy a escribir. Uh, tenemos soup. Es sopa, como like marchand, like Maggie, like different, like Uh, soup. soup, that's soup. Podemos, podemos decir chicken soup, pero no para el alma. So we can say uh, chicken, chicken soup. Teacher. But when we say soap, it's jabón. Yes, Diego. Teacher, do you know the, the mama no te vayas soup? No, mama, it, it sounds like for hangover. Suena como para la goma. Mom, no. Mom don't go. The mom <laughs> don't go soup. No. Uh, What is it? It is like a mix or different Mondongo. things. Uh, Mondongo. Mm, Mom no. don't go. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> like so <bad. laughs> Mom don't go. Wow. I'm not going to forget it. No lo voy a olvidar. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, Mom don't go. Okay. Ya me aprendí algo nuevo. Okay. Good. Thanks for telling me. Okay. Mom don't go. Soup. Okay, it's so a chicken soup, and we have soap. Don't say I, I like a chicken soap, okay, because soap is jabón, okay, soap, and soup is sopa, okay, that's it. Yeah, that, there are some words that maybe we can, um, we can confuse, okay. Uh, who else? Who else? Mm -hmm. uh, Helen, hey, Helen. Nine. 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 Uh -huh. There isn't. There isn't much cheese on the plate. 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 Okay, thank you. Good. Claudita, you go. And then we go with. I just those. Everybody has asked Marlon again. Number two. Number two. Are there many eggs in the chicken? In the what? Kitchen. <laughs> yes. Are there many eggs in the kitchen? Hay mucho huevo en el pollo? No, en la, en la cocina, <laughs> right. Okay, good. Uh, Marlon, yeah. And then Number Diego. three. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mary hasn't got many pencils in her pencil box. Yes, of course. I didn't have pencil box when I was a student. I don't know in your case, but I <laughs> was uh, I, I was a mess. You're in disaster con eso. But there are some people that they neither me. Neither you, okay. <laughs> so that, that happens. Especially the girls. Girls are like more responsible. Okay, teacher, Diego. Teacher, sorry, I had a question. Go ahead. Uh, what about when, I, when we're talking about money? We have mm -hmm. to use much or many. Much. How much money? Even the uh, yes. Oh. Even we, we we can count like from different a series of bills or coins. But we say how much money? How much does it cost? Mm -hmm. How much is it? When oh, you are okay. in a cafe in a cafe, you say okay. How much is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. I got it. Okay. It's a pleasure, my friend. Uh, Diego, can you help me with one more, please? And then Carmen. Maybe you can say four, yeah, six, or uh, eight. Number eight. There oh. aren't many women in parliament. Yes, many women. Or parliament. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. Parliament. Yeah, that's it. Oh. And that ha sometimes okay. it happens in different countries, especially here, Latin American. Okay, uh, Carmen, right? And Andrea. Four or six? Uh, six. Okay, and Andrea, four. 
Timmy hasn't got much money in his wallet. Okay, that's fine. And Andrea, there isn't? There isn't much butter in on my bread. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we continue. And 36 minutes and we finish. 35 minutes and nosotros ya terminamos. We're going to finish. So we'll go to a conversation, please. And I need you to check this. I'm going to give you like six uh, seconds, okay? Try to remember uh, as many words as possible. And then we're going to discuss it. We're going to share it, okay? So we go now with this conversation. Okay, inventing. Okay, we start now with Andrea. Para que no diga, okay, Andreita. Mm -hmm. I have bonus, bonuses. Mm -hmm. No sé cómo se dice. Okay, bonus or bonuses. That singular plural. Okay, okay, good. What about Claudia and then Christian? Mm -hmm. Ay, sí, me en curva. <laughs> mm -hmm. Así es la vida. Okay, no problem. <laughs> And Christian, and then we go with Kevin. I have no use, or no say who's, algo así. I have no use or who's. Just, just, just. Mm -hmm. just. Yes. Okay, thank you. Kevin and Mercy. Hey, George, I have a question for you. Mm, good one. Mercy and Marlon, que se estaba echando un buen trago, eh? Okay. Mercy, I can hear you. I have just two. I have just two. Okay. Just two. Good. Marlon and Helen. Um, 20 days to be exact. Okay. okay. 20 days to be exact. Okay. That's fine. Helen and then Diego. No, we know. Okay. Pues así. Así pasa a veces con mejor no digo. Pero Helen, hay que ver. <laughs> okay, Diego, go ahead. Okay, how many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? Yeah, that's good. Bonuses are good. Okay, and Claudita, and then, yes, thank you, Claudita. I have paid vacation. Paid vacation, yes, everybody loves paid vacations. Hey, Carmen? Me too. Y lo demás ya lo dijo Claudia. Oiga, oiga. Oh, ya están. Mm. Okay. So uh, we're going to check this conversation. I think this is a, uh, a very interesting. Hey, Josh. Uh, that's my nickname in my case. Well, my friends call me Josh to me. So they say, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? It is difficult. It, well, sorry. It, it is quite different. Paid vacations and non-paid vacations. Well, like son pagados son geniales, right? Because you can receive money and you're on vacation. So, yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many? ¿Cuántos? How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. Wow. I think nobody has like 20 days. I don't know in your case, but it is commonly like 15. Como 15 son como normalmente. How many bonuses... How many bonuses do you have per year? ¿Cuántos bonos eh, eh, tienes por año? Ruth, I have four bonuses. What about you? How much? Is the question that Diego mentioned about money. How much do you receive? No, receive. Receive. I have just two. But each bonus is for more than 600. Wow. Uh, if that person... Josh has only two bonuses and Ruth has four. But imagine Josh has two bonuses uh, of more than, well, more than $600. Well, that sounds like very acceptable. So that's it. And here we have expressions to ask about money. We're going to use this uh, for the next activity. So we have how much do they pay? Obviously, they are talking about an enterprise. For example, imagine that Claudia is saying, it, well, Claudia mentions an opportunity about, well, a, a job opportunity and says, Mercy, 
we have, well, there is an opportunity for you and in, in our company. And Mercy says, how much do they pay? Porque eso es algo que se pregunta. One of the main questions, ¿cuánto, cuánto paga? How, many, how much do they pay? Okay, of course. Uh, how much do they charge? ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. uh, how much is it? And how much do you earn every month or monthly? I know, si quieren, I recommend you to write this word. I don't think it's a palabra. Earn. Earn is ganar dinero by working. Pero win is ganar, but you can uh, you can win a, a lottery like Helen. She wants to win the lottery. Quiere ganar la lotería, Helen. And you can win a championship, a soccer championship. You can win in a different, yeah, different activities, but earn, it's the earn, sin la, earn, it, it is about money. How much do you earn every month? Cuanto ganas cada mes? Okay, so that happens. And bonus, eh, son los bonos que le dan, verdad? Pueden ser comisiones, pueden ser bonos, es el plus, es el extra que le da, and that, it applies for sales, para las ventas, or maybe if you work in a call center, you work, uh, maybe you are an executive. And... Teacher, teacher, sorry. Yep. Uh, I have a, another question. It's in the, in the number two. How much do they charge? Mm -hmm. It is talking about the discount or something like uh, that? Cuánto cobra? Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, it is okay. mainly uh, cuánto cobra, how much do they charge? Mm -hmm. And imagine you, you want uh, to buy like a, a personalized present or maybe a cup or a, a shirt with a picture. And you can ask them how much do they charge for that? Mm -hmm. And that happens. Okay. Hey, so, thank you very much. It's a pleasure, my friend. So, imagine the calendar con la palabra. Okay. So, okay. Don't pay attention to this. Okay, we're going to practice a little bit uh, with this conversation. We're going to take just like three minutes because in 29 minutes, we finish. In 29 minutes, terminamos la clase. Okay, so please, I need you to have like a screenshot of this uh, short conversation. And easy cheesy, right? Okay. So we're going to practice a little bit and see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, Carmencita, the vacations, girl. yes, I'm really happy for you because I can notice that you really enjoyed your vacations. Okay, good. Necesito descansar de la yes. vacación. <laughs> Believe me, eh, we need free time, of course, and I'm glad, estoy feliz por ti, I'm really glad for you. Thanks. Good. Okay, wonderful. Okay, Carmen, we're going to practice. Okay, you can be Ruth and I'm going to be Josh and, and then we can, we can switch. Okay? okay, so just start. Hey, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than 600. Okay. Yes, it's for more than, it's un poco más de. Uh, it's for más de, it's for more uh -huh. than. Mm -hmm. it's Es okay. por o es uh -huh, por más de, uh -huh, okay. más de 600. Okay, we switch. I'm going to be wrong. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. 
How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. Solo exact. Exact. Porque exactly, exactly es exactamente. Exactamente. Exact to be exact. Para ser exacto. Uh -huh. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but its bonus is for more than 600. Wow, that's fine. Okay, uh, thank you, Carmencita. Okay, luego, teacher. Después, después. Okay. Good. Okay, um, just to, as a feedback, como una retro, retroalimentación, how much do they pay? ¿Cuánto paga? Okay, how much do they pay? ¿Cuánto paga? Imagine Andrea wants to change their job. She wants to work in another place. Obviously, she's going to ask how much do they pay? Siempre preguntamos eso cuando nos vamos a cambiar de trabajo. Of course, it is one of the most important things. Okay, and then how much do they charge? Is something that I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. Cuánto cobran? Mm -hmm. Cuánto cobran? And how much is it? How much is it? Significa cuánto es? Mm -hmm. How much is it? If you are, um, how much? If you go to a, a shop and you like a pair of jeans or you like a, a, a blouse, a dress, you can say, mm, I'm sorry, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? Cuanto cuesta? How much does it cost? Or when they say, how much is it? Oh, tell me, what's the price of, you can say, what's the price of, but it is more like, more common to say how much does, uh, does it cost? How much is it? Uh, what's the price of? ¿Cuál es el precio de? What's the price? Por eso que es, hay un almacén de, de well, yeah, de, there is a, like a, a big supermarket that is called Price Smart, ¿verdad? Precio inteligente, Price Smart. So, price is precio. Y cuando ustedes dicen, price es premio. Price, like an award como un premio, like a prize, con Z, pero con C, is price, is precio, okay, so, um, just for you to have like an idea about, about how to use these phrases, and also here we have how much do they pay, how much uh, do they charge, how much is it, how much do you earn every month or monthly, cuánto ganas, Cada mes, que es, no es una, it is not a polite question, of course. No es una pregunta tan amable. Obviously, I'm not going to ask you. No se la voy a preguntar. But in case of, in caso de. Okay. Um, we're, going, we're having this. So here we have circle the word. Vamos a encerrar un circulo acá. Uh, the best complete the equation. So here we have number one and number two. Vamos con Carla. Number one. What do you what do you consider, Carla? How much do they pay or how many? Much or many, Carla? And then Mercy. Mm. ¿Qué te dice tu corazón? Many. No. How much? How much? How much do they pay? Porque estamos hablando, we're talking about money. Okay. Let's see, Mercy. Number two. How much or how many days do you have in your vacations? Mercy, say it to corazón, mujer. Much or many? Many. Yes. How many days? How many days do we have in your vacations? Okay. So here we have one, two, three, and four. 
you use one of the equations above to complete uh, the mini conversation. Pero lo que voy a hacer es que la voy a cortar. Vamos a ver. I'm going to use this. Um, let me see the reset because uh, you need this. I'm sorry. So just for you, uh, for not having some problems, okay? I will need the help of Andrea, Claudita. Here we have, uh, these questions are going to be located or placed in this. Okay, jo, think about it, Andrea and Claudita. Select one, two, Ay, perdón. Relax, relax. Yo pensé Excuse que serenata. Me. Yo dije serenata, yes, why not? Sí. Ex excuse Vaya. the crypto. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok. No problem. Mm -hmm. Qué pena. Vaya. Relax. Salvadoreña Number... que se respete. Number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. How much do you earn every month? Okay, how much uh, do you earn every month? Yes, uh -huh. I make... Mm -hmm. I make... Mm -hmm. uh, 50... No, 540... 46 monthly. 45. Así, 45. 45 monthly. Dollars monthly. Dollars yes. monthly. Yes, okay, good. Thank you. So he, here we have uh, how much do you earn? Okay, now we go with Claudita. Que te me hiciste, mujer. Okay, number two is taking. I'm here. Okay, good. Bien. A ver si no me equivoco. Da, seguí tu corazón. Follow okay. your heart. Number four. Mm -hmm. How much do they pay? Okay, how much do they pay? The company pays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six. Ay. Six I. <laughs> no, no sé cómo se dice. Come on. Um, six hundred. Six hundred ninety. Yes. Ninety. 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 Or, or ninety. Mm -hmm. uh, ninety. With. With bonus. Bonuses. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay, I will need the help of uh, Diego. Could you help me with number one or number three, please, my friend? Yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, the number one. Mm -hmm. How much it is? Yeah, how much it is? It, it is, is, it is? 10, 10, 50 boxes. Okay, 10 and 50 boxes. Mm -hmm. Or 10 and 50 cents. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thanks, and thanks, and thanks, thanks. Stop. Marlon, please, okay. with number three, my friend. And we finish this activity. Uh, number three, um, how much do they charge? Aha. Uh -huh. Perfect. They take? Uh, they take 23 per item. Per, per item. item. Yes, item. Item. Mm -hmm. item or item. Yes, of course. And that's good. For example, if you travel in the airport, um, if you use your luggage to, to, to equipaje, and if it like it is like more than 50 pounds, más de 50 libras, they charge it or they, they, they cover. Uh, well, it, it costs more. So that's it. Okay. So thank you, Marlon. And then we're, we're having a listening activity. Okay. In this activity, we're going to listen to, well, we're going to listen to the name, the last name, the occupation and the salary. This is new for us. It's not new for us, the salary. And the working hours, it means the schedule. We're going to listen to the schedule, okay? So. Okay. Be ready with the name, last name, occupation, salary, and working hours, okay? We're going to listen just to uh, three, three employees. Okay. So let's, uh, 
listen. Okay, here we go. Number one. Hello, I am Abraham Davis. I am a janitor. I earn $330 in 10 cents. I work from 6 and 30 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, uh, definitely we're going to listen again. I'm sorry, go ahead. Hello, I am Abraham Davis. I am a janitor. I earn $330 in 10 cents. I work from 6 and 30 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, let's listen to number two. Hi, my name is Melissa Anderson. I am an engineer. My salary is $985. I work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Listen again, number two. Hi, my name is Melissa Anderson. I am an engineer. My salary is $985. I work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, and then we go with um, number three. Hi, my name is Alexa Taylor. I am a bartender. I earn $551.30. I work from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Okay, number three, again. Hi, my name is Alexa Taylor. I am a bartender. I earn $551.30. I work from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Okay, so let's see what do we have for, uh, well, does uh, anybody have information for number one? Mm, let's see. maybe Carmen, Claudia. Yo solo tengo del número uno que eh, last night Davis eh, working hours six a.m. five p.m. Okay, good. So you have last name and you have working hours, Claudia. And Claudita, la name, occupation, salary. Del número uno, solo eso, de David, que gana como el salario como 300 y algo. I don't know. You tell me. No lo sé, tú dime. Ok. Good. Eh, 300 y algo, dice. Ok. And what about Claudita? Solo le anoté el last name, que era Davis. El salario, no sé si me equivoqué, era que eran 330. Of course, maybe you can tell me in English. 300, <laughs> what? No, 300. Vamos, mujer. 330. Y working de 6 a um, 5 p.m. Ok, thanks. Andrea, what's the name of the first person? Uh, Abraham. Ok, Abraham. And what about uh, the occupation? Es janitor. Ok, I think we have almost all the information. And of course, it is Abraham Davis, janitor, que es un conserje. Salary, 310 cents. Mira, Claudia le está quitando de centavos al hombre. So. <laughs> la propina. La propina. <laughs> no, of course. Por eso él se la está quitando. <laughs> okay. And working hours from 6.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. And. Uh, what about with number two? Kevin, do you have information of number two? Uh, solo escuché el nombre, the name, that is Elisa, the last name, Anderson, occupation, engineer, y solamente eso pues. Wow, okay. yeah, that, that's fine. Name, and, uh, Melissa, last name, Anderson, occupation, engineer. Okay, so we need the salary and the working hours. So for this, maybe we can have the help of Carmen. 
Marlon. The working uh, salary. Hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, working hours and salary. Okay, go ahead. Uh, ladies first. Ladies first. Ladies first. Uh, 6 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m. Okay, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Ha venido mentirosita, creo. Almost, almost, casi. Mucha vacación tuviste, mujer. Hey, Marlon, show me salary. Uh, $985. Wow, good. Okay, let's check. Yeah, Melissa Anderson. Welcome back. An occupation engineer salary, yes, $925. And working hours. From eight, mira, Carmencita, que te insiste, huh? From eight to four. Carmencita, me que hace que todo llegue temprano. Okay. And now uh, we have number three. Uh, do we have for number three information? Carla? Mm. No. No information? Helen? May? Uh, mm -hmm. Alex Miller. Okay, Alex. Okay. Taylor. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Ya me la hiciste hombre esta mujer. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Helen. Christian. Hey, que te Helen debería ser uh, cirujano. Name. Uh -huh. Name. Uh, Elisa. Last okay. name. Taylor. Okay, Taylor. Uh -huh. And working. No, no me acuerdo. <laughs> Ok, Taylor, ok. Christian es abogado, le cambió el nombre. Ok, thank you, Christian. But Taylor, yes, it's Taylor, definitely. Uh, what about Diego? Can you help me, my friend, with number three? Yeah, uh, their name is Alexa. Mm -hmm. Her last name is Taylor. Hello. She's a bartender. Mm -hmm. and, and she works from 8 p.m. to... to a.m. Yes. From 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Yes, because she's a bartender. What about the salary? Yeah. You have the salary? Uh, her salary is um, 551. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Solo que me le está quitando los centavos, Diego. Ya veo que. Está los centavos. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Okay. So, okay. yes, Alexa, como la de Amazon, Alexa. Taylor, a uh, bartender, mm -hmm. 551 and 30 cents, of course, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. So it means that when the bar finishes and when the disco or, or the bar or whatever, uh, it, is, it is the, well, that, that business is closed. And so to that time, she well, closes everything, okay? So we're going to do something. La vamos a escuchar una vez, todo para que... Ahora ya tengamos como una mayor claridad y la vayamos a leer. Ok, I'm going to play it once. Cosa que nunca he hecho, pero considero que es. Eh, es sano. Ok, let's listen number one. Hello, I am Abraham Davis. I am a janitor. I earn $330 and 10 cents. I work from 6 and 30 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Number two. Hi, my name is Melissa Anderson. I am an engineer. My salary is $985. I work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And number three. Hi, my name is Alexa Taylor. I am a bartender. I earn $551.30. I work from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Okay, so thank you for... for your participation i think uh, we're we working uh, we are dealing with different vocabulary right because the salary working hours so that's it so to finish uh, because we have like seven minutes uh, what are the top three things on your bucket list so here we have some of you for example Andrea, decime, before okay. you become an angel, what do you want to do? The, the first, I travel the Islas Maldivas. 
Uh, the second, I to go to Morrowland. And third, I travel Noruega. Okay, remember first and third. First, I, I don't know. First I, and I'm, third. I'm not accustomed. Well, I'm not sure what is Tomorrowland. Is that es, a concert? Is that ajá, like. Es un evento así enorme de música electrónica. Really? Okay. Pensé que ibas a decir ir a misa. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Go ahead. Is your. Your wish to the cell. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Relajo te gusta. Okay, Rita, thank you. And now let's listen to Claudia Diaz. Mm. Claudia Diaz, que nos tiene? Your bucket list. Okay, the first is the bow, a bigger house for my mother and father. Uh, second, the visit to the New York with my boyfriends. I'm sorry, boyfriends or boyfriend? Boys friends. Ah, your best friends. Okay. No, because, call me novio. Uh, yes. Boy, okay. Because sometimes we say friend. boyfriend is like, like BVF or girlfriend, but we you say boyfriends. I can imagine that maybe you have three boyfriends and that's good. That's nice. See this, Andrea. But you have only one <laughs> boyfriend and you're going to travel with him. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what else, Claudia? Uh, three. Mm -hmm. is the, I, I visit my boyfriend's family in Bangladesh. Wow, interesting. New culture, new places, of course. That's fine. Thank you, Claudia. Okay, Christian, what about you? Yes, uh, the first, uh, get married. Uh, seconds, be that. Uh, and there are now many country. Okay, that's fine. So listen, girls. Ya ven con lo que piensan los hombres. Okay, that's fine. Good for you, Christian. Thank you. Mira, Claudita. Okay, and we have four. Uh, good for you, Christian. Thank you for sharing. Thing. And four minutes. We finished. Well, three minutes. Diego, your turn, my friend. I think you have like 100 activities to do before you die, but just <laughs> pick three. Yeah, I, I have a lot of them, but my, my top three things before to to get the bucket are the first one uh, i don't know we see the ruins of machu picchu in peru mm -hmm. uh, the second one is hey teacher do you know about about hardcore punk music uh, uh tell me any band that, that you remember gorilla biscuit uh -huh. or mm -hmm. agnostic mm -hmm. front yes yes okay. yes the uh -huh. second one is to see Gorilla Biscuits live in concert. Wow. And the, the third one is visit Prague and Europe, the capital of, of Czech Republic, because mm. you can breathe culture over there. You can see a lot of castles in the old city and, and, and even in the, in the new city too. Yes. And mm. a lot of iconic places like the astronomical clock in the Tower of Pulvora. I don't know how to say it, but there is a, a lot of culture over there in Czech yes, Republic. I think uh, the culture is like reflected in not only buildings, but also uh, their culture indeed. It is like very special. They're, they're very uh, order people. They are very educated. Like, well, yes. it's a developed country, of course. When we can learn about, well, and you, we can, we learn by traveling, having contact with, with another uh, culture, uh, like uh, making friends, of course. Maybe you can have a, uh, yeah, a friend. Okay. Yes. All right. In different places. Yes, of course. So thank you. Why not? Why not? Everything Fair is possible. Much. Okay, my friends, one minute and we finish the class. So, uh, Andrea, no. Ana Mercedes. Hello. Hello. Mercy. Yes. Present. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check the attendance list. Ya terminamos. Okay. Ese gallo lo vamos a hacer en chicha. 
Okay. <laughs> and uh, Andrea, Andreita, que me hiciste. Hello. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, Carmen. I'm here. Thanks. Claudita. It's me. It's you. Claudia. Present, teacher. Awesome. Thanks. Christian. Present. Good one. Diego. Present, teacher. Nice. Helen. Hi, teacher. Hello. Carla. Present. Perfect. Kevin. Present, teacher. Good. And Marlon. Present. Thanks. Thanks, my friends. If you notice, I always include different questions like those because maybe we can have different opinions. Yes, we have opportunities different and we talk a little bit more. So tomorrow we're having like better questions. Okay. So see you tomorrow. Have a rest. Luna is difficult. Just say bye bye. Thanks, my friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, everybody. You too, my friend. Yes, yes, yes. ¿Cuándo va a poner el horario? De ah, que nos quedamos los 10 minutos. Ajá. Ya, ahorita lo voy a mandar. Es que ahora le toca a Doris. No vino. Pero ya lo mando. Ok. Ok. okay. okay bye bye. Have a good night. Ok. Good night. See you. See you tomorrow. We were supposed to have uh, a student here in the 10 minute session. Unfortunately, uh, she was not able to be here. So uh, we're going to have a brief review about the contents that we covered during this class. So we have the topic, how to use how many and how much. So the like a, a brief and clear um, definition is that many is used for uh, countable nouns, que son los sustantivos contables, books, cars, bikes, dogs, and much is for uncountable nouns, para sustantivos no contables, water, rain, sugar, salt, pollution, smoke, noise, so, as well, we studied time expressions for regular activities. We use every day, every week, every month, or every year for expressing common routines that we do during the week. So daily, weekly, monthly. Also, how to use time expressions and the daily activities. There are the routines that commonly we do during uh, during the week from Monday to Friday and schedule events that are timetables and uh, events that we have like once in a month, once in a year. 
we also uh, shared information about what they do during the during the week. So the activity was about writing five questions. So you can ask a classmate about a regular day at his or her job. Use the questions to interview classmates about his or her daily activities and the time for each. So in this um, chart, they worked in couples and they shared information about the activities that they did. We have some, well, we have a worksheet in which they practice the use of much or and many for them to have uh, a clear idea how to use much and many. So in this case, uh, no, there isn't much milk in the bottle. Are there many eggs in the kitchen? Mary hasn't got many pencils. There isn't much better butter. Are there many books? Okay, Jimmy has not got, or Jimmy hasn't got much money. Is there much uh, rice in the jar? There aren't um, many women. There isn't much cheese. There isn't much sugar. Are there many children? There isn't salt in the soup. We also have a conversation. In this case, uh, the conversation is about uh, well, it's between Ruth and Josh. And the conversation is like this. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus each is for more than 600. Then here we have expressions to ask about money. Uh, how much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? How much do you earn every month or monthly? So in this, uh, we have like uh, this chart. So um, here you have figured it out. Circle the word that best completes the questions. How much or how many do they pay? And they well they practice that they participated and they say how much do they pay? Number two, how much or how many days do you have in your vacations? Obviously, is how many days. And here we have the expressions to ask about money, the same ones that we studied in this part. So uh, in this exercise, it was about completing the black spaces by locating the question, the previous questions about uh, money. So use one of the questions about to complete the mini conversations.
So, um, how much uh, is it? It is ten dollars and fifty cents. Number two, how much uh, do you earn every month? I make five hundred forty-five dollars monthly. Number three. How much do they char charge? Uh, they charge uh, $23 per item. And number four, um, how much do they pay? The company pays $590 with bonuses. So this was part of the class. We studied uh, different exercises. We practiced a lot and it was very dynamic.